Hi guys, so in this series I'll be teaching statistical analysis using Microsoft Excel. Now I'll be using the online version of Microsoft Excel so that it does not matter whatever version of Excel you are using. Now uh, the first of all we will be discussing the descriptive statistics. Mm, that now the descriptive statistics include uh, many things like the central tendencies which have mean, median and mode. There are other things as well like quartiles, percentiles, range and a few other things as well. Uh, for now, we'll be discussing only mean here. So let's consider that we have, an, we have a hypothetical data here in which there are 10 students and we have the scores for every student as well. We intend to find the mean of this data. Now, to find the data, there, now, now to find the mean of the data, we have an inbuilt function uh, in Excel. We can just use that function. Now, to use that function, you just have to type equal to sign here and then the, type the word average, A, V, E, R, and uh, it shows a drop down list as well. Now, you can select the function here. Now inside brackets, you need to select this data, the data of which you want to find the mean. Complete the brackets here and then press enter. That's it. You get the formula. You get the mean here. Now, if you click on this cell, you can read the formula here as well. Okay. So now let's suppose you do not remember the word average or you do not remember the abbreviation or the spelling so uh, you can also see all the functions listed here see there are many other functions which you can use okay so this does not concern us okay so now let's consider that there is a frequency distribution table of which you want to find a mean so here we have another hypothetical data in which we have a frequency table. So how do you find a frequency table? Uh, now, how do you find the mean of the frequency table is you first need to find the midpoints of it. Now, what would be the midpoint of the class uh, of the class 1 to 10? It would obviously be 5 of the next class 11 to 20 it for the next class it would be 15 next would be 25 now if you uh, observe there is a pattern in, in this 5 15 and 25 15 minus 5 is 10 25 minus 15 is again 10 10 which is the class width of every class here okay so the next two obviously would be 35 and the next would be 45 Okay, to find the formula in a frequency distribution table, the formula is you know, the summation of all fi xi, which is summation of all fi xi, divided by all the free total frequency, which is the summation of f. Now, to find summation of f, we just have to sum all these things. But to find the summation of fx, we need to first find a column separately for fx. We need to find the values of fx for every class as well. Now to find that, we just need to type equals to sign here. Select the frequency, put uh, the multiplication sign and then select x and press enter. Okay, now uh, either you can type in manually every time the formula or you can just select this column and pre press control D so that, so that it fills the values by itself. You don't have to type the formula every time. Now, uh, to find the mean, we need to sum these, these values as well. Now, to sum these values, there is an inbuilt formula called sum sum. You just need to type equal to sign then type the word sum here select this formula select this function and then inside brackets select the uh, select this column 
and press enter. That's it. You get the summation of it. Now, obviously, we need to find the summation of f as well. So, again, the same thing equal to sign sum and then select this column. Complete these brackets, press enter. That's it. Now, simply to find the mean, we type equal to sign select this thing here press the divide sign and then select this and press enter that's it you get the mean here now again you can read the formula here as well okay so thank you